Hello, hello, hello. Well, um, sorry for the gigantic white balance issue that we've got going on here. Um, I'm just about to um, get in the car and go and get Flo. Whoop, whoop. Flo is coming home. Her train is on time. Um, and she's coming home. After 10 long days, 1,700 pounds later. <sighs> this is of money we haven't got. Shall I start a GoFundMe? I think I might have to, because we haven't got the money. She had a rollicking off a bank to say, you have gone into your unauthorised uh, overdraft. Mum. Yes, darling daughter of mine. So yeah, we are one, well, we gave her 500 quid to go with, right? She was gonna fund this herself, don't forget. Let, let's keep, this, this is what teenage, dear, dear parents, dear parents, okay? Get ready for teenage years, ready? This is what they'll do to you. They'll worry you sick until they're actually home from the club that they said they'd be in at a good half an hour before they actually come through the door, which is by that time, mm, morning. Um, <laughs> then they'll uh, make you spend an absolute fortune on tuition fees if you're not lucky enough to get a grant. We were very, very lucky with me being disabled and Nemo being disabled and Mr. Dory being self-employed. Um, we were very lucky, very lucky. They could have easily gone sticky and flow. We would have to find the money from somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, and then, yeah, um, a further £1,200 has been had to be found since she left the country. Well, Joni knows what I'm going to do about that. So anyway, I'm off to pick up our little darling cherub. Mm -hmm. uh, she'll probably cry. She'll probably sleep for about a week. Um, she'll probably eat first. Mr. Dory's made sure the fridge is full-ish, I think. Mm, pretty full. I haven't cleaned the house because I can't clean the house. I haven't got any makeup on because I don't want to put any makeup on, quite frankly. Uh, I've been in bed until 10 minutes before I had to go and get an email because he's just across the road, luckily. And it actually took me uh, that 10 minutes to get across the road. My body is screwed, guys. Totally, totally hates me in the minute. Whew. She was like, why, why are you out of breath, mummy? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like asthma attack. I don't, I don't have I was like, oof, no, I can't do it. So I've kind of made bed, started making bed, but she's gonna have to help me do the rest. I'm not clearing up dead corner. I'm gonna show you deathly corner that we've got in our lounge at the minute. It's like a bloody graveyard. It's horrible. I keep saying to Miss Story, will you just please brush it out? And I can't bend down to brush it either. And if I stand up and brush too long, I'm bending over and that hurts too. <sighs> Dory, you're going to shut up fucking moaning. No, sorry. Oh my God, I just noticed this bloody screw coming out of that wardrobe. <sighs> Never let Mr. Dory put any of your furniture together, guys. Never. Anywho, I'm going now. I shall update you later. Excuse me. It's combine harvester, isn't it? Yeah. That's what, what happens when you live near farms. Woohoo! Another big lorry. Truck. What did we have before? Oh, a baler went past before. That was hilarious. It actually shook the ground and I was like, I'm going to fall over. But no, it was all right. So, yes. Bye. I shall see you when I have returned with said flow. Words may have been had. Probably in the car. Hmm. Um... One that begins with S ends in Ori will be said a lot today. Mm -hmm. uh, but mainly, I'm just. Shh, right, shh, it's between us. I'm just glad that she's home, she's safe, and nothing bad happened to her. But must, don't you ever tell her that. Laurie. It's like, it's like a game, isn't it? Laurie, tractor, Laurie, van, Laurie, <laughs> tractor. <laughs> Four by four. <laughs> oh, van, four by four. There you go. You see, this is just what it's like living in the country. It's great. So we live on the main road. Anyway, yeah, but don't tell Flo what I told you. Shh, secret. 
okay. She, I don't want knowing that I love her. You know, she's almost 20, for God's sake. See you later, babes. Hello. We are back from the train station. We have a lovely traveller with us by the name of Floor. She's finally home. Uh, I should imagine the washing basket will be quite quite full wherever it is. Can't see it. Oh, well, it's on the landing, that's why. Um, everything was okay. Um, she even came back with a few euros, which she's given to her little brother, ready for his holiday when we go away. Um, but you know when you look down, it, oh god, I had a right, I had a right, oh, I had a right mum moment. Oh, god. <laughs> I had one of those. <laughs> I was like, go on, barriers, go down, go down. When's my when's my little girl coming home? And it was like, train was like, I knew it would be. I knew it would be. I said, I bet it's late. And it was. There you go. So, but you know when you look down the platform waiting for somebody to get off a train? And I was just like, oh, going. And I mean, Flo is tall. Whoa, Flo is tall. Very tall. Very tall and, and very striking. Very striking young lady. Um... So all I saw was just the top of her head, just like going, I was like, yay! And then we got blocked in by a taxi. That was fun. I wouldn't have had, I might have had a little, little tiny chat, like, how the long are you gonna fucking be? I think hormentals is going off the scale again, and they've only just been, and then I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Could be the emotion of the day, couldn't it? Because Mr. Dory's not here as well, so it's like, but yeah, she's home, she's safe, she's had a goodish time, she's had um, some two hours sleep or something. Lessons learnt, hey. But yes, she's she's lost weight, so uh, I will be feeding her up over the next few days. <laughs> so it doesn't suit her because she's tall, so she doesn't suit being skinny. Oh, no, no, no skinny, no. So, um, but yeah, she's home. So, <sighs> I don't know what to do now. Should I make a bed? We can make a bed, can't we? There it is. All its splendor. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Bed. Yeah, all, all the crap on it. Yeah. But yeah, she's home. She's safe. And that's all we needed to happen. Uh, I will see you later. Goodbye, my lovely friends. I might actually eat something as well. I thought I'm feeling a bit. I'm not eating all day. Up there thinking, down there, that runs to the toilet to throw it all back up again. That's right. See you later. Really quickly, just before I clean it all out, I know the light. Sorry, I'll turn to the window. Right, we're in the lounge, okay? I've been asking Miss Dory for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to please clear this up because it hurts me to do it. It's now got to the point where um, Miss Dory hasn't done it and I'm going to have to because my OCD is going through the fucking ceiling, quite frankly. So I'm going to show you it. Ready? You might not be able to see very well, but I'm going to turn the camera around see if it picks up. So you've got, like, dead spiders. Yep. Yeah. Dead spider on the wall there. Hello, dead spider. Dead spider, dead spider. And then you've got all the cobweb, all the damp. Thank you very much, because our neighbours had his other walls sealed, which means the moisture is now coming out of our side of the house. Fucking marvellous. So, um, I'm just going to try my best to brush it out. Um, there's lots of live spiders in here. It means spiders don't go on well. So, yeah. Wish me luck. Bye.